the plan for today? That's a very good question. We're um, going to head back um, a little bit of the way we came and we're going to try and get back down to the Hammersley Inlet um, from the other side uh, this morning. Um, we tried getting down via Hammersley Beach and couldn't get across. Um, the tide was a bit high and the there were some rocks and things at the uh, on the shoreline that we couldn't quite get past. So we're going to try from try from Hammersley Inlet side and see what happens, and then we're going to try and go across to Whalebone uh, Beach and then Coin Head. Um, there may be um, a slight problem with that because there is a, a the Whalebone uh, track is supposed to be closed but it doesn't quite say which one and it doesn't mark it on the map so we're going to have to uh, suck it and see a little bit this morning and if we can get over to coin head then we might spend the night there um, if not then we'll probably head back over to the other side of Fitzgerald and uh, see what we can find there maybe get down to Fitzgerald Inlet and go from there so uh, we will see how it goes and we will catch you uh, in a bit when we've uh, found out whether we can uh, where we can make it to see you soon you look up with those angel eyes i remember what i'm fighting for oh the victory cannot be denied Alright, there's another track back there that takes you down to Hammersley Inlet on the west side but there is a gate across it, it is chained and it's joined with a de-shackle. There's no track closed sign on it but given the fact that it's chained uh, tells us that it's more than likely closed so we're going to keep going on this horribly corrugated track. This section is shocking, it's the first corrugations on it. Um, this is the track that took us down to the plane crash, so we've doubled back on ourselves this morning um, and we're heading towards Coin Head, I believe. So there's another track just up here. We'll see if that one's open. All right, cheers, guys. For the fire in my bones the song upon my soul And I gotta let the whole world know Every day when the sun rises, I feel love beating down my door. Every night when the moon is shining, I pray you'll be coming back for
Right, we have reached the top of Coin Head and uh, what a spectacular view from here. Just check that out behind me. Look at that, that is awesome. I'll get my uh, big head out of the way of the camera and I'll show you, but it's, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, the track that takes you back to Whalebone Beach is permanently closed, so can't go back that way. So it looks like this is a uh, one way in, one way out track. But uh, there's a hiking trail through here, but uh, yeah, check that out. Well worth coming up here for a look. All right. So let's, uh, I think the track ends just down here. We'll have to turn around and uh, head back out. So we'll, we'll see you on the way out. Yeah, a little wheel left there. I was just hoping it was there. <laughs> Those of you that wish to know exactly where we are, we are, well, I don't need to tell you, the sign can tell you. Coinhead Beach, Fitzgerald River National Park. So there you go. Look at that. Your own private beach, there's nobody else here. Um, they're very small campsites there. I was actually hoping you could drive down here, but you can't. So, wow, this, this is pretty amazing. Check that out. There's a bit of a river here. Comes out here, but there's no water in it until you get further up. But uh, look at this beach. This is awesome. There you go, your own private beach. <laughs> Nobody else around. <laughs> Doubt there'd be anybody else here today, but the, wow. That is cool. Sand is so white and squeaky. I've actually got shoes on. I should have taken my shoes off before I came down here, but wow. What a spot, eh? <laughs> That's the, uh, I guess where the river comes out, there is some water further up, not a lot from what we could see up there, but uh, wow. If only you could get down here and camp on this, this would be bloody amazing. Wow. All right, gonna uh, take this all in for a little bit and then we'll make our way out of here. Coinhead Beach, if that's how you pronounce it. Absolutely stunning and worth the drive in.
well that was coin head spelt, I think it's pronounced coin head uh, spelt with a Q uh, there is a little campground there spots aren't all that big big enough for one car I guess um, it's probably about half a dozen little campsites there uh, looks like a free camp doesn't say anything about paying honesty box or anything like that or booking online so but we're yeah, what a spot <laughs> That beach is amazing, there's not a footprint to be seen and not a tyre track anywhere, not that you can get down there, but uh, wow. Just goes to show, you take some of these four wheel drive tracks, you're never going to, you never know what you're going to find at the end of them. Uh, that's just an amazing spot that probably not a lot of people get out to, so uh, unless you know about it. But it's a shame that track there is uh, closed, because that takes you back to Whaleback, Whalebone Beach, Whaleback Beach, not on the golf course. <laughs> Whalebone Beach, so but that's all blocked off now. You can see the track over the other side there, but uh, that looks that looks like a fairly handy track going up that hill. It's all closed off. Yeah, I was just saying that on the camera. I can see why it's closed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but uh, oh, never mind. Uh, so we're going to have to take this track all the way back out again. Now I have no idea what's in store next because we were going to try and get to um, Whalebone Beach, which would have taken up half the day, but. Uh, Andrew's in charge. I'm sure he's got some interesting places for us to go and see. So uh, we'll head there now. <laughs> All right, guys. Cheers. So we've left the east side of Fitzgerald River National Park and we've just come along the South Coast Highway now dropped back in to the National Park from the west side. Uh, we came down Quiss Road, I think it's called, and we're just heading down now towards the Fitzgerald Inlet. Hopefully all the roads are open on this side, haven't heard of any closures, closures yet. Um, but going on the state of this trip so far, I wouldn't be surprised if everything was closed. But uh, fingers crossed, um, it's all open. See you when we get there. Bit late getting the camera out there, but never mind. Um, that was Collins Road uh, heading south towards Fitzgerald Inlet. So, our plan of heading to Fitzgerald Inlet has uh, died a very sudden death as that road is shut. It's not listed anywhere as being shut, but it is shut, so that's one of those things. So we're uh, now going to head down towards uh, Point Anne. I think we're on Point Anne Road now, or might still be on Earth. We're still on Collets Road, and then we'll be turning left in a minute down onto Point Anne Road and down towards Point Anne. So uh, fingers crossed that that one is not closed, but we shall see. Alrighty, we are now on the other side of the park, the west side of the park. We are at a place called Point Anne and we're just having a look at the beach access down here to see if we can go down and get some lunch because Andrew only made it as far as here and there's the entrance there. <laughs> so we'll come down here and have a look. Oh, it is very soft, very soft, but uh, yeah, check it out. Excuse the wind. Oh look, the boss, well we're just at uh, Point Anne and we're just seeing whether we can get down onto the beach or not because it's pretty soft and very blowy as you'll probably be able to tell uh, with the sound on the camera. Quite a spectacular little spot but it is bloody windy as you can probably hear and the beach is pretty soft, not too bad but it is extremely windy. Whether it's worth coming down here or not is another story. And there's a river, river mouth there. So yeah, it's pretty cool, check it out. So there you go, now we could decide whether we're actually gonna come down here or not. Alrighty, so we have decided to not go onto the beach. It's, uh... It's a soft entry, it's doable, but it's really windy down there, so it won't be pleasant trying to have lunch down there. And it uh, doesn't look like there's much really down there to do apart from drive on the beach. Apparently there's a whale carcass down there somewhere, but there's a sign that says stay well away from it. So but this is the river. 
Looks quite pleasant, but I can assure you if you get out in the middle there, it's bloody windy. So <laughs> This is the, uh, I think it's the Point Anne campground. So there's a little parking area at the end, uh, and there's a little walking track here that takes you down to this river. So looks pretty nice. Just uh, check it out. So yeah, anyhow, I'm going to head back up here, make myself some lunch, and then we'll decide what we're going to do. There's a track, just as we came in up that way, there was a track that takes you along the coast, so we might check that out after lunch. Alright, cheers guys. Gary's got his lunch in a bag. Health, healthy food, do you mind? Lunch from champions. <laughs> but no beer. <laughs> All right, all righty, that is lunch done and dusted down by the river. Uh, very quick, now we're just going to head down this track here, which the name escapes me, it's on that sign back there. And we're going to head down to another inlet down this way. So uh, if there's a sign posted when we get there, I will let you know what it says. So, yeah. All right, hopefully this track's got some uh, interesting bits on it. Um, this side of the park so far has just been dirt roads, so uh, nothing much to film. Um, this, this, this is Mark oh, corrugations. This is marked as a track on the Hema, so hopefully it's got some good bits on it. Alright, we'll uh, see you down that way. Gary just said he thinks he needs to let his tyres down a bit because he thinks he's stuck. Oh no, he's not stuck. <laughs> uh, no, you're definitely stuck, mate. To let the tires down. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that guy. <laughs> See, we both stopped when we realised we needed to let some air out. Not him. <laughs> All right, let's let some air out. Tire pressures, all about tire pressures. All right, let's go and have some fun on this beach.
beach is super soft, eh? I don't know if you can hear the tyres squealing, but <laughs> it is super soft. Hard work on the cars, so we're just spinning around and we're going to jump off and go back up those conveyor belts. Beautiful beach. Wasn't a mark on it until we got here. <laughs> Alright, hopefully we can get off this beach. Whoops! <laughs> He's dragging the conveyor belt up with him. <laughs> he hasn't even realised yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're taking a bit with you, mate. <laughs> I, I wonder if it was a souvenir. <laughs> you just, just hooked onto your spring, <laughs> your spring hanger. <laughs> Do you need a, need a cutter? Oh. <laughs> oh dear, they're not very well maintained these um, rubber mats. Um, they've got some spikes in them but they're all over the place and he just hooked that up on his, uh, his rear spring hanger and dragged it out with him. So you might have to cut it. There we go. There we go. We have hey. unhooked him. <laughs> All right, let's get the rest of the way up. found ourselves a camp. It's not the best but it is right by this river and it's just up there. So time for a shower I think. I haven't had a shower for three days. I might freshen up and have myself a shower but uh, yeah. Lovely little peaceful spot by the river. Uh, the campsite's a bit uneven and we've had to do a bit of shuffling to get everybody in but we've got there and uh, yeah. We are just out of Bremer Bay still in the Fitzgerald National Park so uh, Come across a few more issues today with roads closed and overgrown tracks and uh, it's been a bit of a mission just to find this place to camp. But we found one, it's good. Um, yeah, lovely river, looks beautiful. So, so hopefully this wind dies down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go and have a shower and uh, maybe download some footage and uh, sit around and have a few drinks. All right, cheers guys. <laughs>
just like potatoes and mushrooms. <laughs> As you can see we have left camp, uh, not a bad little campsite, could do with a bit of levelling, but uh, nice view anyway, a uh, very tight track coming out. Um, so yeah, heading out and back home today, so not quite over yet, this track has got a few challenges, we didn't film it on the way in last night because we just wanted to get in and get to camp, so uh, there's a few little challenges on the way out, which we will of course put on camera for you to see. and. Uh, then we will head on out of here, air up and head home. So, uh, yeah, alright. We will see you up the track, guys. Take some leaves out of Paul's car. No, just taking parts of trees out of your back of your car. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been taking trees out of my car for the last two days. <laughs> <laughs> Whose fault's that? Uh, yours. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys. I'm guessing that you 
guys are good for fuel, eh? Yeah, I got just over half a tank, mate. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to nip into Bravo, I think, and get some, uh, pick up some fuel. That's alright, we can do that. Anyhow, I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it for this trip. Um, not without its level of frustration, this trip. It all started off with the first two days, plans going to shit, plans foiled by a bushfire. So uh, yeah, the first two days we were meant to be on the beach and uh, doing some fishing and stuff. And bushfire closed the access to that area, so that uh, ruined those plans. So uh, then we decided to hit Fitzgerald a day early and um, came across multiple truck closures through there as well. Now, Andrew did contact various ranges and national parks officers to find out roads, tracks, access, that sort of thing. And the only thing we found out was the track linking the east side to the west side was permanently closed. So you had to go round, you can't go all the way through the park. Um, apart from that, everything else was open even the last section we went into yesterday had a big sign saying all roads open and the first track we came to go down to go to um, Fitzgerald Inlet track closed double gated so <laughs> very frustrating uh, we ended up down some overgrown tracks um, so the cars are absolutely filthy disgusting and probably scratched to the shit house but that's tomorrow's problem not today's problem um, so yeah, uh, last night's campsite wasn't the best, beautiful view along the river there, uh, had the campsite been nice and level it would have been spot on, but uh, we made do, that was, that was good enough for us to make camp for the night and uh, some awesome places to see and visit throughout the National Park, so uh, if you want to go and see Fitzgerald National Park, uh, I do advise you ring various offices to find out about roads and track closures, but uh, maybe ask a few more questions and find out if there's any permanent closures that um, you're not aware of. So uh, a lot of those tracks have been permanently closed. They've been closed for a while. So uh, unbeknown to us, they're still showing us open on any maps. So, but that's life. You don't know until you go exploring. So, and that's a whole part of what we do. So uh, yeah. Anyhow, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, series. Um, thank you so much for watching. To our Patreon supporters, thank you so much for your support. Um, should have some new merch on the website now, maybe some new shirts and definitely some stickers. So head on over there, uh, www.perth4b4-adventures.com.au and pick yourself up some merch from there and uh, help support the channel that way. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we'll see you on the next adventure. Cheers guys.